Good gun morning to you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's get to this one. This is from Vox.com. I know. I apologize. But this idea needs to be pushed back against. This idea we cannot tolerate. This idea we need to have answers for. Because Republicans are going to jump on board with this. Just like red flag laws. Just like all this stuff. They're going to jump on board with this thing immediately. Prioritizing gun storage, right? Prioritizing gun storage. That is the golden goose for them because Bruin has made it difficult for them to do things like gun control, right? All the gun control things like what's happening in Washington and all these other places, they're going to get struck down because of Bruin at the federal level. Also, their violations of the Washington Second Amendment and so forth. Uh, but they can't do those things anymore without some kind of legal challenge in it getting struck down. However, safe storage laws, safe storage laws. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, they, that, that is quote unquote, common sense gun reform that we can all get behind. And that's what Vox is saying. One big idea that could prevent thousands of gun deaths, safe gun storage. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, I don't really care. Rachel DeRose. And of course she's going to talk about growing up in Florida, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. By most standards, my father's weapons were safely stored, but he was in the minority of gun owners here. They're, they're going to come out with the statistics. They're going to come out with the statistics and they're going to come after us this way. And this is why the GOP is going to lead the way on gun control as far as, um, safe storage laws, just like you got Bill Lee. In the state of Tennessee, who's coming out and saying, hey, man, we need to have these uh, the, these other types of, of laws in effect, like extremist protection, or is he dragging the special Senate? They're going to start championing this. You just saw it in Indiana. They put that in their, uh, their teaching bill. And everybody's like, yeah, that's cool, whatever. The only problem, the only problem is in order to enforce, and I'll say this now, in order to enforce a safe storage law, in order to enforce a safe storage law, in order to enforce a safe storage law, one must have a registry. Nobody believes me until it happens. By most standards, my father's weapons were safely stored, but he was in the minority. 54% of the approximately 77 million gun owners in the U.S. do not practice safe gun storage, according to a 2018 John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health survey. Once again, what is the definition of safe gun storage? We are letting them have the high ground here. We are allowing them to take charge of this. We need to be able to push back immediately. What does safe gun storage look like to them? Because I'm telling you, and some of y'all are going to get mad at me, but hold on a second. Gun locks. Let's go to this. This is their definition of gun storage. Stay with me for five seconds. This is what they want. Come on, man. Go to the images. Oh, my goodness. Fine thing. Whatever. That's new. Uh, this is their version of safe gun storage, the bike lock, right? And that's Project Child Safe from the uh, from from um, NSSF. What is the problem, people watching live and people watching in the replay, with this? This is their version of safe gun storage. All right, this is what they're talking about. This, not a quick action safe, not a gun uh, trigger lock, none of these other things. This is what they want. Why is this a big deal? Because it makes your gun inoperable. It makes it impossible for you to use it in the event of a break-in or you actually have to defend yourself. This is what they're talking about. This is the manipulation of this survey. Are you practicing safe gun storage? Well, define, do they even ask what defined safe gun storage is? No, but this is what it is. This is what it is. Maybe uh, they would accept something along the lines of, oh, I hate you. I'm not a robot. What am I, Elon Musk here? Come on, man. Get out of here. I'm trying to run a live show, you jerks. You know what? Forget you. Um, the trigger locks, as some have seen. That's what they're talking about when they're talking about safe gun storage. And one third of these households with dangerously stored guns are also home to children. 
I mean, that's kind of a sad stat. It should be higher than that, but you know, whatever the case may be. Um, here's the issue. When you have children in the home and you have firearms, you need to take this step. And I don't have children, so please don't come after me. This is just as an instructor. This is what I tell students when they start doing the LTC or, you know, gun safety courses and stuff like that. You need to take away, you need to demystify guns to your children. You must demystify it, right? Because all they're getting is stuff they see on social media and stuff they see in, in entertainment. You need to sit down with your children. You need to teach them, you know, as a parent, you're responsible. And you need to say, this is your dad or your mom's gun. You are not allowed to touch this gun. Never. You have to put boundaries. I know we don't talk about this nowadays because children are so whatever. You need to give your kids boundaries. Do not touch this firearm. You are not allowed to touch this unless you're with mom or dad at the gun range and I will help you. Then you take them to the gun range. Rent a little 22. Teach them the four universal gun safety rules. Always treat a gun as it's loaded. Never point it at something you're willing to destroy. Ne always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. And always be mindful of what's behind you. Teach them. Just like you would teach them how to use a lawnmower or whatever else. You know, rules around a pool. Richard, you just compare. Yes, because kids die in pools. Right? You don't just let a kid run to the pool. The pool has safety uh, rules all over the place. You have to treat your kids especially when they're young, with the ability to absorb this information because if you treat them that way, they will at least acknowledge it. Now, will some be stupid? I Yes, I was a dumb child as well. But you at least have to give them that knowledge first. This idea where you're going to hide it away and store it, guess what? That's just like daddy's uh, liquor cabinet. They're going to want to get into it. Why does he want that? So that's a great thing. Good morning, Philip. Um, Oh, cool, man. Yeah, see, there's all kinds of great technology. There's all kinds of great technology out there for, for people to choose. Remember, this thing, to choose whether they want how they want to store their gun, right? This is the problem. If we let them run with this, they're going to tell us that's the only way to store your firearm. All the other stuff won't work. That's the only way to do it. And of course, if you have children, you need to bring your children in and say, this is dad's gun. You don't touch it unless we go to the range, right? Include them. That's how it was done forever, right? Kids have always had access to guns. Guns have been around. 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Guns have been around. We didn't see huge numbers of kids. Were kids shooting themselves? Probably. But at the same time, having a gun in the house was something that people acknowledged. Now they're trying to make it, they're trying to make it taboo. They're trying to shame you. This is a fact that should alarm us. In 2020, firearms surpassed car accidents. Eh, incorrect. Incorrect. You know why they say that? Because, and I have to say this, this study, this 2020 study includes kids up to the age of 19 which includes gang violence, which we'll come back around to in a bit. Uh, while the majority of child deaths from guns are due to homicide, yeah, because they include them as 18, 19-year-olds, with an average of 35% between 2018 and 2019 were deletions, 5% were caused by unintentional accidental shootings. Understand, I'm sure you've seen this. On different forms of social media, there are kids walking around showing off Glocks. Young kids, gangs. We're talking about gang incidences here. That's what we're talking about, right? This idea that little Johnny is one of these kids. No, a lot of these children that are dying as well are in the result of inner cities from a, a myriad of societal factors. But what does the left do? They focus on the thing they want to get rid of. So it's guns. It's not broken homes. It's not the fact that there is no economic advantage for them because democratic policies have suppressed them. There's all the, there's all kinds of societal things we can talk about, but no, what do Democrats say? Because they know their target audience has the attention span of a goldfish. So they go guns, guns, bad guns, bad. And people just repeat it like a bunch of zombies. And then you got these, you know, 
privileged white kids sitting in their Audi A5s screaming at us about gun control. Shut up. Uh, back into the article, I often reflect on the day that our children walked out the door. One of my children returned home, blah, 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 said Geneva McDonald, a person for Mom's Demand, was unintentionally shot and killed in 2016 by another teen who was playing with an unsecured gun. That's heartbreaking. That's absolutely heartbreaking. I don't want to see a 16-year-old kid die. You don't either. But what was the cause? How did he get the gun? All of these other kinds of things. The idea of, well, let's just secure the guns. There's a lot of other, there's, you know, because we have laws against burglary. We have laws against stealing cars. These things still happen. That's why we need to talk about it. <laughs> Despite the horrific toll of firearm violence, America remains deeply divided on guns because we have the right to keep and bear arms. And any hopes for, I don't give a crap if I hate by, I know, it's it's a slow news day in that regard. That's why National Gun Control Advocacy, Every Town for Gun Safety, funded by Michael Bloomberg, released a new report on preventing unintentional shootings by children. What did they release? Oh, yeah, whatever. I'm not doing that. Um, which the first shared. The group found that nine of the 10 states with the lowest number of unintentional shootings by adolescents have some form. See where they're starting to go. Do you see where they're starting to go? Some form of secure storage protection. In contrast, the states with the highest rates of unintentional shootings have none. And of course, this is every town. So this thing is completely and utterly manipulated to the nth degree. And while tougher gun laws and norms to better store guns would do nothing about the sheer number of firearms, safety storage offers are a rare opportunity to find a political consensus. I am telling you, the GOP will lead the way on this issue. They will 100%, my allergies are killing me, um, lead the way on this issue. Because it's going to appeal to your, your wine moms in the suburbs, and they're always desperate to try and get these people back. Quote, often people feel like nothing can happen in the gun debate. And while it's true that states with gun laws in the U.S. remain weak, uh, you mean... The majority, by the way, who says with Nebraska, 27 out of 50 offer some kind of permitless carry or whatever the case may be relative to our peers around the world. No one cares about peers around the world. This this idea, this straw man argument. Well, what about Finland and Norway? Do you know some of the worst mass shootings have happened in these these countries with gun control? I don't care what the French say. The French got gunned down by a bunch of rabid jihadists. I don't care what the people in India say. It, the entire city of Mumbai was shut down by 12 people with AK-47s. I don't care what they say. Because in the end, they're victims too. In London, you got to turn in butter knives. I don't care what Matthew Lacombe, author of Blah, 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 has to say about this. Shut your face. What does safety, safely stored guns look like? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Rick, did you read the article? No, I don't like to do that. I like to kind of go off the fly. Grip it and rip it, baby. Look at this, guys. This is what they want. This is what they want. And this is what the GOP is going to just absolutely go forward with unless you speak up. While American gun owners and non-owners disagree about many gun restrictions, they actually find common ground when it comes to gun storage because they are going to use this to just bully the GOP into into putting some kind of national gun safety storage or whatever the case may be. Don't think it can't happen in your red state either. Over half of gun owners and non-gun owners support spe speaking to their children about gun safety, keeping guns in a locked place, and taking a gun safety course. All of that is fine. That means most American adults support at least one pillar of what Jonah Thomas, a licensed certified social worker, gun owner, and volunteer, haha, <laughs> she's a gun owner, but she works with Moms Demand Action, calls the gold standard of firearm storage. She calls it this, keeping stored firearms unloaded and locked away with ammunition kept separately and locked as well, i.e., you are a sitting duck if somebody breaks into your home. I'm just, I'm frustrated because I see what's coming down the line. I see what's coming within the next 12 months and nobody, nobody's listening. Right? This is, this is the gold standard of firearm storage? No. No. Some kind of biometric safe, like my man Philip was talking about. Again, I'm going to put him back up here. 
This is the gold standard firearm storage. Why? A, you get to choose what you do. B, it still gives you access to said firearm if you need it. And C, forget you, I ain't using the bike lock. Um, an unloaded weapon prevents someone from using the device if they don't know how to load it. While keeping ammunition separate prevents unauthorized users who do not know how to load a firearm. Yeah, because nobody knows how to load a revolver. Uh, for a firearm to be locked, it needs to be stored in a lock cabinet or safe with a trigger lock. So they want two standards of it. Unbelievable. And and you people don't think that the GOP, the feckless cowards that they are, aren't going to do it. These three rules, unloaded, locked, and separate, have been shown by researchers to provide protection for children who live in a home where guns are stored. Remember, the experts hate you. And while some gun owners may argue that locking a weapon could put them in peril if they need to use it, every town, evidence from every town, evidence from the gun group supported by Mike Bloomberg, whose, whose entire purpose is to get rid of guns, shows that unsecured weapon does not make an individual safer or more capable of defending themselves. What a shock that they say that. When I tell people I keep my gun in a safe and I keep the ammunition store separately, they're always questioning about that, says, you know, gun owner Thomas. But I tell them I have access to my firearms in three seconds if I need it. No, she doesn't. That is a complete and utter lie. Uh, those three seconds also help me to decide, do I actually need my firearm? Well, if somebody breaks into your house at two in the morning or at one in the afternoon, noon, you don't have three seconds, Miss Thomas. Oh, I have three seconds to go to my gun, and then I take it, and I unlock it, and then I take the lock out, and then I load the gun. Meanwhile, Jack Jack McThief is already in your room, and he's about to beat you to death. Or he's in your kid's room, which is even worse. I'm going to unload the gun. I'm going to shut up. This is such a female-centric version of doing this. Not all females, liberal females. That's enough time to give her an opportunity to determine whether a possible intruder or her child or spouse entering the home. We're going to we're going to have to factor how comfortable the gun is to sleep with now so we can hear so we can wear it. <laughs> Maybe you got to get one of those Enigma host holsters and just wear it on you at all times. Um, this is so dumb. Is it my child or spouse? I don't know. Is your is your husband coming home at two in the morning? Is he not texting you beforehand that he's coming home? Is he not communicating with you? Whatever. Uh, the state of America's gun violence and the policy is meant to perfect, protect it. In the first year, blah, 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 blah. However, deletions are significantly overlooked and account for over half of annual gun deaths. An encouraging find from Rand. Remember, conservative Rand is that child access prevention laws, laws that require guns to be made inaccessible to children, reduce the rate of deletions among young people in states where they are implemented. Uh, just understand this. In Colorado, they put a three-day waiting period in. And one of the people who championed it came up and said, they're used in 10% of deletions and they're 90% effective. So meaning, just because they won't have access to guns, wait, a, wait five years. Guns will not be the, the method. It will be something else. And so they continue to go on and on and on. Let's let's end with this because this is just a, and a continue. I don't want to bore everybody to death. When you send your child to someone else's home, you often ask them questions like uh, that keep them safe. Do you have pets? Do you have a pool? If so, how secured? My child has an allergy, blah, blah, blah. All those things are routine, said Burr Sharps. I don't know who that is and I don't care. Asking about a firearm and how they're stored should be another routine safety precaution. Hell no. Hell no. I'll tell you why. Because as soon as you hey, I'm going to little Jimmy's, Jimmy's house. Hey, Jimmy's dad, do you have a gun? Yes. Ooh. You're going to be the pariah of the neighborhood. Nobody needs to know that. Right? Nobody needs to know that. I'm sorry. I don't know. Do you disagree with me? Hit me in the comments down below. So that's. Another thing, be in that, be out, be on the lookout for the be smart campaign because that is the, and I've done a story about this too, way back. The be smart campaign is all it's designed to do is to shame gun owners, right? Are you going to send your, your little child, little, little Jackie 
to a house with a gun in it? Are you not going to tell your neighbors that Jackie's dad has a gun? What's going to happen to that person in the neighborhood? Yeah, because women don't talk. And so, but they look, look at how they do this. This is all the things that are coming down the line. First, the bike locks. The bike locks are going to be the quote unquote gold standard and how to, to secure them. Watch out for neighbors starting to ask you, hey, do you have guns? Tell them it's none of your friggin' business whether I have them or not. It's it, Either way, of course, it, it's a when did you stop beating your wife question. As soon as they ask you, you're SOL. You can tell them no. But as soon as they, and if your kid finds out, this is all an attempt to shame people into not having guns. It's an attempt to destroy gun culture. And that is their primary goal. <laughs> Thank you.